So welcome back to another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA, third grade edition. Um, we're going to be working on maths.3.md.1.2, which is measuring liquid volume and mass. It's, it's working with those two concepts. So let me teach you. Example one, how many liters, which could be a big L, L, which one is it? This one, L, of water are in the following container. This is an equation editor item. I made this box humongous to try to trick you to do all your work in here, but don't do it. Just put your answer in there. So you can't really see it, but this line is right here, okay? And all of this is shaded in, and it's water, because it's also in the question. Um, so I see that this is counting by fives, and that each big line is five, 10, 15, and so each little one must be 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so one more would be 16 liters. I'm going to put 16L. You could put 16L or 16 liters, but don't do any other work inside the box. Thanks. I brought this one a little bit closer because the font is kind of small, um, but if you have your edition, that you downloaded using the link below, then it won't be too small for you. But just in case, um, here we go. So Jose and Jackson, my two buds that I teach at my school, awesome third grade mathematicians. Jose and Jackson have similar containers filled with different amounts of water shown. There are two parts. Part A, how many liters of water are in Jose's container? That's right there. And part B, Jackson's container has 30 liters of water. Shade in the amount of water in Jackson's container. So, we've got two things going on here. We have first for part A is the equation editor, and part B is a grid response item, a graphic response item display. So I'm gonna start with part A. And again, don't let this big old box fool you. The only thing that goes in there is your answer. So how many liters are in Jose's container? Well, Looks like the longer ones are 10, 20, 30, 40, and it's kind of hard to see, but this is where it ends. So it's not quite 50, and let's see, it wouldn't be 41, 42, 43, 44, 50. I guess they're counting by twos. Let's check. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Good. So if we're counting by twos, that means that this one would be 48. And don't just put 48. You need to write 48 liters. Put your unit attached to it. You could write liters or you could write 48 L. Either one. Now for part B, Jackson's container has 30 liters of water. Shade in the amount of water in Jackson's container. So we're using Jose's container because we know that they are similar containers to determine where we shade Jackson's container. So here's 30. All I got to do is go doop and shade this in. I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna grade this, but that's how you would do it. Example three: Zainab uses ten liters of water to make lemonade. To make lemonade for five containers, she used the same amount of water for each container. If she used all the water, how much did she pour into each container? Okay, so she has, I'm visualizing this bucket. She has 10 liters of water, of water to make lemonade for five containers. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so what? My containers are boxes. It's fine. She used the same amount of water for each one. So if she has 10, and she has to put the same amount into each, that would be like 10 liters divided by five containers, which would be two for each. Two here, two liters here, two liters here, two liters here, two liters here. If she used all the water, how much water did she pour into each container? We just said that, two liters. So John Daniel packs his lunch for school. 
His thermos has a mass, switching over to mass now, of 160 grams. His sandwich has a mass of 140 grams. So let me just draw out what we've got. We've got a thermos. Don't knock my drawing. I'm not very good at drawing. It has this little lid. We'll just call it a thermos. Okay, thermos. 160 grams. G stands for grams. And he has a sandwich, which I don't think I'm much better at drawing. Let's see. Do to do with some lettuce around the edge. Boom. Sandwich is 140 grams. Okay, what's the total mass of his lunch? Total mass would be adding them up. So we have 160 plus 140. One, six plus four equals more 10. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. And one plus one plus one is three. So 300 grams. I can put 300 G or 300 grams. How many more grams does his thermos have than his sandwich? How many more? When do you subtract? How many more? 160 minus 140. Zero minus zero is zero. Six minus four is two. One minus one is zero. So 20 grams. Notice again, none of my work went into the boxes. It was all outside of the box. Only the answer goes into the box. I know that I keep beating that point, but that's what you gotta do. I don't want you to lose points because you showed your work in the box. All right, last one, example five. What is the best estimate for the mass of a pencil? Pencil. So just a note, grams, one gram would be about the equivalent of a paper clip. So grams are used to measure lighter objects. A kilogram, one kilogram would be the size of like a math textbook or a science textbook or a reading textbook. Um, it's used, a kilogram would be used to measure um, heavier objects. And also we need to know that one gram, I'm sorry, 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. Okay, so what's the best estimate for a pencil? Three grams, that would be like three paper clips. Sounds about right, maybe a little bit heavier, but it sounds like a reasonable answer. 300 grams. No, I think that would be too heavy. Three kilograms, that would be like three textbooks, no way, and 300 kilograms is way too heavy. So our best estimate would be three grams. Ooh, ooh, Miss McCarthy, I have a really awesome goal. I wanna be the, I wanna get the highest score on the math test. Okay, that's a great goal. That's awesome. Here's the thing. You've got what it takes, but it is going to take everything that you've got. So if you want it and you know that math, you know, you kind of struggle with it a little bit. You've got what it takes, but it's going to take everything you've got. So get out there. You need to live, breathe, eat this dream until it happens. Make it a goal, make a plan to accomplish it, and just go out there and do it.